A pair of friends from Yolo County have mysteriously disappeared, and tonight their families are pleading for their safe return. My biggest fear is that something has happened. Um, someone has lured my son off. The teenagers disappeared earlier this month, at least two weeks apart. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. Tonight, authorities say the circumstances behind one of the disappearances is now being investigated as suspicious. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Woodland with this developing story. Steve? And both teens' mothers have posted and printed hundreds of these flyers of their missing sons. They put them up on storefronts like this one all over Woodland, and they're praying for their safe return. I just want to hug you and I just want to kiss you and I just want to tell you that I love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. I love you and I want you home, okay? Heartbreaking pleas from two mothers linked by a cruel connection. Their teenage sons have vanished. My biggest fear is that something has happened. Um, someone has lured my son off and Enrique off at different times. 16-year-old Enrique Rios and 17-year-old Elijah Moore are friends, classmates, and co-workers. They disappeared within weeks of each other. Each initially declared runaways. Woodland Police now classify Elijah's disappearance as suspicious, a change Enrique's mother is still pushing for in her son's case. There's something very, very wrong going on. Together, the teens attended a construction training program at the Yellow County Fairgrounds through their continuation school, where they each enrolled after arrests in 2015. Their moms say they were now getting good grades. So the last day that I saw my son was on his birthday, November 3rd. Alicia Moore says the next day she got a call from her son at this Woodland check cashing store. He was cashing his $300 paycheck. He was like, okay, mom, I'll be home in a little bit, but he never showed. After Enrique's mother last saw him in their Esparto home, she received a string of texts from her son's phone reading he was going to try to do his own thing. She believes the texts were written by someone else. I don't see him writing like that. Missing classmates disappearing weeks apart, bonding these mothers in a search for their sons. My hope is that they're together because they're, they take care of each other. They're friends.